Hello everyone and welcome to episode 26 of my BOA series. It's been so long since I started this series. Like this is album number 27 that I'm listening to and oh my god so much has happened so far. Her sound has evolved so much and I think I am loving the later boa more than the earlier days don't get me wrong i still have like my songs from those era but mostly like i really vibe with where the music is going um so today i listened to starry night and it was really good i love a voice on here I love the production like she always works with like producers that really understand her a voice and a vibe and they are able to come up with you know something that really make her shine which I really like um there were some growers in there like some songs that took me a while to get into um there's one or two where I'm still not quite sure where I stand with them you know um for example dry flower for sure is not for me um i tried listening to the songs many many times and it's just not working out on the other hand i feel like at the beginning i was not such a big fan of i don't mind but the more i listen to it i'm starting to slowly but surely um love the song you know and that's why i really like to take my time with albums because this always happens you know, my early favorites rarely end up being my real favorite. You know, at first I would listen to the album and be like, oh, X, Y, and Z are my favorite. But then the more I listen to it, I'm realizing that, oh, maybe that one that I was not paying attention to is the real sleeper. You know, the, the real hit that is just under the radar. So I um really enjoyed myself. Like I said, her voice is fantastic. I love the flow of the album. There's nothing like a very good track list, you know. Arranging your songs in a way where you feel like the artist is telling a story. And I just love the journey that she takes us on with this particular album. At the same time, there's definitely, you know, a clear favorite. You know, this is one of those albums where there's the star and then there's the rest. You know, that one song that you listen to and nothing is ever the same. For me, in this album, that song is Black. <laughs>
Is perfect. I love it, especially the chorus. Oh, so good. I love when they go like black in the back. Oh, it's this song is perfect. Like the production, the way the song progresses, everything happening in the background. The song is amazing. And like I said, although the rest of the album is very well put together. There is no song that compares to this one. And I'm willing to fight on that. Like, it's just perfect. The perfect amount of, you know, everything. Production. I even went so far as, like, to look up the lyrics. um, Her voice. The beat. The melody. Like, everything is just... Chef kiss. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. But, yeah. It's amazing. So for me, that's the star of the album. Overall, it's a very good album, but it's definitely one that has that lead single, and then the rest is there. It's good, but nothing really strikes me as much as Black did. So let me know in the comments, you know, what you thought about this album, which song ended up your favorite, you know, if it's not Black, why? <laughs> I'm joking, but not really. So, um, if you want more Boa, have a dedicated playlist for her. Like I said earlier, I've listened to 27 albums by her. So, you can definitely have a little binge session of all of my album reviews. That's it for me today. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, or subscribe.